Hello ladies, may today and tomorrow always be a happy, full of love and affection. Dear women who are widows, remember you also have the right to be happy. In life, stereotypes about widows are still bad. Widows are often seen as the destroyers of people's households. Basically, there is no woman who wants to be a widow. But if God has destined so, then be grateful, accept yourself as you are. No need to be discouraged because you are among the great people who were chosen to live this scenario. You are a strong woman. Being a widow of a deceased or divorced husband is a tough condition. You have to be a mother and a father figure at the same time, a provider and a household organizer at the same time. You think you can't do it. Working from morning to evening, all kinds of jobs you take to make money. At the same time, you also have to keep the house tidy, wash and iron the children's clothes, pick up and drop off from school. It feels hard to do alone, but in reality, you can. Right? God gave you strong shoulders, hands that reach for the stars in the sky, and feet that stay rooted to the ground. You are strong. You are capable. You are great. You're a great woman. Your children are proud of you. Your marriage has ended, but you still have a good relationship with your ex-husband's family, which is great. You are able to restrain your ego, prioritize friendship, and give happiness in other forms to your children. Choosing to be friends with your ex-husband and promising to help each other for the child's future, you two are very good at setting an example for your child. He is very proud of you. Take a break if you're tired. Being strong and great doesn't have to mean carrying the weight on your shoulders all the time. Take a break. The earth will always spin. The clock will always tick. The heartbeat of you and your children will always beat. Rest. Release all the tears if you need to cry. Look for a shoulder if you need to lean on. You are not a heartless robot. Nothing is more precious than time, a healthy body, and mind. Avoid working so hard to focus on your income that you forget to spend time with your children. Children don't just need your money. But also your presence in every step of their lives. You need a break to move on with the rest of your life. You are beautiful. You deserve to be loved. Whether you have children or not from a previous marriage, you are still gracefully charming and will forever be beautiful. There's no need to curse yourself with bad luck, failed marriages, chaotic jobs. To the point where you think no one will ever love you. That's wrong. You are still surrounded by people who love you. Family, children, friends who are always there for you. Spread smiles, kindness. Fill your days with positive activities. There is no result that betrays the effort. God has prepared a good surprise behind it all. Trust me. Remarrying or staying single is your best choice for your happiness. Don't worry about what your neighbors are saying about your status, about how long you've been single, about your job, about your second marriage. It's their right to comment on your life, but your obligation is to continue living a better life than yesterday. If being single is your purpose in life. Be happy that you deserve to be loved by your children and those around you, benefiting them greatly. God will give you a very, very strong shoulder to walk on. Don't close your heart to receive love from new people. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be happy. If remarriage is your choice, avoid getting married just to get rid of widowhood. Before giving a new father figure to your child, you must be able to place him in your heart first. 
Don't be rash to accept another man's proposal before your heart is ready. Ready to love and be loved. Ready to survive the most difficult situations. Ready to sail the household ark once again. If your desire to remarry is very strong, but the soulmate is not yet in sight, then be patient. Enjoy your time with your children, with your parents, with your friends. All the efforts you make, all the prayers you always recite, all will be heard by God. Happiness will come in due time. Hopefully, this motivation is useful for you. You always be given health and always be happy. Tell us your opinion in the comments column. Happy greetings to me, you and all of us.